the morning, 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. God bless everybody. Welcome to Divine Insight Ministries. And as always, me and my wife like to take out the time to say thank you. We appreciate all that you do and how you support this ministry. And God bless you. Welcome to Divine Insight Ministries. And we ask you to do a couple of things. Go ahead and hit the share button and share this on your page. So good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're excited about what God is doing. Sister Jan, God bless you. Sister Darlene, God bless you. Sister Hilton, God bless you. God bless you, everybody. Come on, come on, come on. We're excited this morning. This is the 20th day of, of our fasting. Oh, man, I'm excited about that. Halfway through the fasting, 20th day. And also, we are at Confession 13. So we got 20 more days and 20 more confessions to go through. And I'm telling you, it has been a life-changing experience with God. Good to see everybody. Moretta, God bless you. Sister Karen, God bless you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and, and hit that share button. Please share this on your page. And also, start inviting people up, out. <laughs> you know, people are up and get ready to go to work. So go ahead and hit that invite button. Let them join in with us and experience this Holy Ghost worship, uh, learning, transformation, teaching uh, ministry that we're sitting under. I'm telling you, God is teaching us and we're learning so much about him and about ourselves. Good to see you, Patricia. God bless everybody. Sister Stacy. Well, God bless you. So go ahead and hit that share button. Captain Forrest, love you, man. And also, Sister Brown, God bless you. And, go, and, and invite some people out. Let them know that there's a word for the Lord every morning for the next 20 days. So we were in fasting uh, day 20. You know, many of us are fasting from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And also many are fasting from 6 a.m. to 12 noon. Be led by the fast. God may let go to 2, 4. Just be led by the Spirit, okay? Be led by the Spirit. God tell you to go longer, go longer. Just be led by the Spirit. Um, yeah, we're growing in this and we're learning the importance of it and really what's, what it's all about. And I'm, I'm seeing a life change in my life. Uh, it's been tremendous and I love it. I don't want to live any other way. Good to see you, Brother Brother Michael, God bless you, man. And so let's get ready to pray. We are in Confession 13. I am strong, okay? And we're going to go over um, 13, all 13 of the confessions today, too, because we are halfway through. We got 20 more to go on the confessions in 20 more days. And so we're right in alignment with each day with a confession now. And we'll end our 40-day fast and we'll end our 33 days of confession uh, and, and guess what? You'll be able to say at the end of this fast that you completed a whole entire book. <laughs> uh, that's a blessing. That's an accomplishment. It, uh, it definitely has stretched you in many ways. And whether you know it or not, you have lost so much weight. Uh, Grace looked good on you. Grace looks good on you. Good to see you, Diane. Good to see everybody. So God bless you, Sister Williams. God bless you. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for another day. Thank you, Lord, for these great days. And Lord, I just tremendous. The last three to five days have been tremendous in our lives. And God, I just bless you for it. And thank you, Lord, for transformation. Thank you, Lord, for revealing yourself and showing who you are. and Just showing the power when we submit to your ways and trust in you and allow your thinking to replace our thinking to see how wonderful life can become. And God, we bless you for it. God, there are things that are on our heart. You know what I'm praying for. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you will answer those prayers and that you have our best interest in mind. And so, God, we thank you for some time when things may become weighty, that you teach us how to lay aside every weight and the sin that may so easily beset us. And thank you, Lord, that you give us a replacement of that weight, and that weight is your glory. And when we sit under your glory and walk in your glory and talk from your glory, that we know that everything will be okay and that everything is okay because we're more than conquerors. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So touch your people this morning as they walk more into your word, have a greater understanding of your word. They're willing to open their minds and their heart to hear a fresh revelation. Holy Spirit, you are our teacher. We sit at your feet waiting for you to speak to us and through us so that we can hear what God is saying about us and about him, that we can learn more about it, that we can be able to, to display the glory of God on our lives. So teach us, give us fresh revelation. Lord, allow your anointing to be on us, and if the anointing is on us, and we know we'll be free from all bondages, from all mindsets that do not reflect heaven, and we thank you, Lord, for this teaching today. We thank you for a fresh anointing. We thank you, Lord, that the glory that is in us will do the work, that the anointing that is on us will do the work, so we can rest in you while you work in us. We can rest in you while you work in us and through us, 
And God, we bless you for all that you're doing. Touch your people everywhere. God, those who are crying out, let us understand our assignment for today and be a blessing to people today. Lord, allow us to be a giver. You called us to be a giver. Allow us to be a giver in the kingdom that we give and we bless by our very presence, by the very thing you have empowered us and that we become sharers, that we share this love that you have given us and the joy and the peace with mankind so that we can reveal to the world who is on our side and who is our creator. So we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for power. Thank you, Lord, for knowledge and wisdom. Thank you, Lord, for maturity. Thank you, Lord, that we will be able to say and be able to hear you say, well done, good and faithful servant, for there shall be fruit on our trees, for we have learned to be fruitful, to multiply, replenish, and subdue the earth. And we bless you for it, God. In Jesus' name, all things are done. Amen. God bless you. Welcome to Divine Insight Ministry. I'm telling you, the power of prayer is so powerful. We're people of prayer, people of praise, we're people of, of purpose, we're people of passion. I just... I'm just so excited about what God is doing. I see the alignment of God and God is aligning you up. This is your year to rejoice. And this is not just your year, but this is your time and your turn and your lifestyle. The things that you're practicing and the things that you're learning, you shall live like this for the rest of your life. The overflow of God's blessing shall be in your life for the rest of your life. You shall live under a waterfall. You shall live under a waterfall. That the, God, that the blessings of God shall overtake thee. In every place that you go, you shall bring prosperity to that place. You shall bring the riches of God. And not just carnality prosperity, but spiritual prosperity. You shall bring the richest thing in the kingdom, which is love, joy, and peace, long-suffering, gentleness, kindness. You shall bring understanding and wisdom to your nation, wisdom to your family. I declare that over your life. That is a prophetic word. As you be, go through these confessions, you will see the, the things that were holding you down from becoming great, from becoming who you really are, will be removed off your mind, and they're being removed now. I'm getting texts. I'm getting inbox consistently, things that are removing off your mind, and you're free from it. You're free from every life, uh, every, every sign, every symbol uh, of, of bondages, and now you walk in God's freedom. You don't walk in your strength anymore. You walk in his. In, in him, we live and move and have our being. So God is blessing us and share this information with others. Don't, don't be selfish. And it, it'll be hard to be selfish because something is good. You got to tell somebody. And so t tell people about the goodness of God and what you have learned from this ministry and what you have learned from God himself, your personal relationship with him. And you're free. You're free to walk out of any prison or any cave that try to hold you down. Because you are who God says you are. And so it's a good thing to know. Okay, Let's get the book. Good to see you, Brother Tyrone. God bless you. Uh, we are on page 43. You have literally read 42 pages in the book. See how many things you're growing in God. You're learning. God is teaching us. Okay, And I'm telling you, it's an honor. Me and my wife, we thank you for those who come on on a consistent basis or even your first time just to be able to hear and what God has entrusted us. God has entrusted me and my wife a powerful ministry and there's many other ministries to come but uh, we thank you for uh, listening to God and being obedient to God and trusting the spirit of God to allow us to, to empower you and to bring things to you so that you can be free now you go and set others free and you and you and you begin to empower others remember as wonderful as this tree may be with all these apples is on it there is a tree in you and never abandon what's in you for the sake of being faithful to somebody else. Never abandon, never allow yourself and your gifts to be the expense of the cost. Only only thing we, we, we do that for, or who we do that for, is God. And God is about empowering you. The more you know about God, the more you're going to know about yourself. The more you understand God's love, the more you understand how you can love like God. Okay? And so, thank you for all that you do. We love you. We bless you. Let's move into Confession 13. We're dealing with the I am of who I am. The I am of God, the God who is in us. When we join yourself unto God, we become we become one spirit, okay? One spirit. It's one spirit. And so this is so important. Confession 13 says this, and this is what we confess. We're going to go through all 13 confessions today, okay? I am strong. That's confession number 13. I am strong. It is pulled from Ephesians chapter 10, I mean chapter 6, verse 10. I read this yesterday. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might. Now, let me say this to you before I get started too. Um, inside of our spirit, there are realms in God. Remember yesterday I talked about there are places within places. I go to prepare a place for you. That place is not a physical place. It is a spiritual place. It is a heavenly place. In that place, know those places in God. That place is a mansion or mansions in the house of God. You are the house of God. In you are many rooms, many mansions. There are places within that mansion, okay? And so I want you to understand that. Very key. Now, when you understand that, it is full of revelation. You are moving because of the anointing on this ministry. And one day I'm going to take out the time to teach what comes from this ministry, the expectation you should have from this ministry, what God trained me to release. God is training you to release what's in you, okay? And so there's revelation in you, and you must know that. Always have an expectation every day for God to reveal the revelation that is in you. It is the rhema word of God. It is, this, it is the eternal words. There are eternal words and an eternal understanding that will preserve you and keep you for the rest of your life. You are a walking revelation. You are a walking miracle, okay? You are a walking revelation. Hear that? You are a walking miracle. Everything about you shows how powerful God is. Everything about you shows the power of overcoming. Everything about you shows the, the mystery of God. You must know that. You are here to release. You are downloaded into earth to release. You are born to give, and the great, the greatest thing you ever can give is yourself, because who you are is made in the image and the likeness of God, so you're releasing God. You are born to release God on earth. Understand that, and always have an expectation for God to reveal to you the revelation that is in you, okay? Very key. I want you to understand that. Confession 13, okay? Here we go. I am strong. The I am is the God of who I am. I am that I am. That is God that is in you. That God in you will reveal to you who you are and who he is in you. So we are saying today, I am strong. We talked about strong. You can't be strong unless you have strength. You can't have strength unless you understand the joy of the Lord. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Now remember, I, you are born again. Me and you have been born again. Okay, because we're born again. We're born from above. That word again in the Greek don't mean the second time. It means born from above. We are born from above. That's why you must understand as you walk your life out, as you walk yourself out of the self that the world tried to shape you to become, as you walk yourself out of that self and into who you really are, okay? You come out of darkness into the marvelous light. The marvelous light is the truth about who you are. You come out of Egypt into the promised land. The promised land is you. You are the promised land. Is You walk into who you are, okay? You walk out of Egypt into freedom. That's really who you are. And so when you understand that I am, good to see you, Pastor Tim. Good to see everybody. Uh, I am strong. It is the God side of who you are. The God side of who you are. That God side of you is full of strength. Remember, everything about God is layered upon layer upon layer upon layer. You can never exhaust God. There's too much of him. Okay? And so we understand how to walk by faith and release these things. And so I am releasing. When I say I am strong, I am releasing the strength of God in my life. It is everything in my body that responds to the God or responds to God because he's the God of life. And so when I say I am strong, you are literally empowering everything in you to live the life it's been designed to live, okay? To live the life it's designed to live. Now watch this. And so when you say I am strong, I'm gonna show you something. This confession wakes up the life in life. It wakes up the life in life. So now your red blood cells begin to work the way they've been designed to work because the I am who is life in you, I give you life and life more abundantly, responds to the activation of your confession, of your agreement. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. And when you agree with God and your words are lined up with God, God's words are powerful. They will never come back void. You literally, watch this, activating because you are the manager. You've been given permission to have dominion over yourself, over the fish of the seas, the fowls of the air, and everything that creeps upon the earth. 
Watch this. And so when you say the I am, it activates the I am in you. It is, it is the proper timing that you understand the will of God in your life. And so when you say I am strong, healing automatically walks in your body. Deliverance automatically takes place. Freedom, okay, automatically. The birds are released for their assignment. The fish is released for its assignment. Everything that, that is tied to you is released because the I am has spoken. So when you say I am strong, red blood cells come in line, white blood cells come in line, intestines come in line, eyesight return, healing comes, body is healed. Things are in order because I am strong. It is the activation of the strip of God being in position and being available and being activated to do what has been called to do. I'm strong. So it doesn't matter what I may face. I know where my strength come from. I am strong. So finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. This strength that breaks you strong comes from the strength of God. It is the being of God, not the doing, the being. You must, you must understand when I am strong, the I am comes from the I be. The original translation in the Hebrew is not I am that I am, but it's I be that I be. You don't have to work for nothing anymore because everything that you need is in the be of who you are, okay? It is the be who of who you are. And so when you understand the be of who you are, which is really the I am of who you are, then you just be who you are. I am the sun. So I shine because I'm the sun. I'm not choosing to shine. I'm being the sun. And so when I be the sun, light flows from the sun because he's being or the sun is being what it is. And so when you a dog, you be a dog and you will bark because you are a dog. Watch this. And so when you understand the I am, you're understanding your being. And now what you need is in the be. Watch this. And so I can be what God called me to be because of the I am. God, I feel excited. And so you know that. And so I don't have to do something to get strength because strength is who I am. Strength is what I be. I am strong. I be strong. In every situation, I be strong. In every adversity, I be strong. In every situation, I be strong. In everything that tries to come against me, I be strong. It doesn't matter what people say, I be strong. I'm no longer broken because I'm strong. I'm no longer shattered because I'm strong. I'm no longer weak because I am strong. That's who I be. And you can't change change who I be. God, I get excited about that. Okay. And so when you understand who you be, it doesn't matter what you are enduring because it can't take away the strip of the Lord. The joy of the Lord is my strip. And because the joy of the Lord is my strip, even when I'm suffering, even when I'm on the cross, even when I'm being talked about, I know how to remain authentic to the I am that I am. I am strong. Watch this. And that strength that's in there is the, the word be means a sustaining verb. It means without uh, opinions. It means without emotions, without feeling, this is who I be. When you tell your child, be still, be quiet. It doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter what you're going through. Be a sustaining verb. You live in a place that sustains you. The I am is the sustaining verb of who you are. And so when you say I am strong, I am wise, I am I am an overcomer. I am wonderful. I am beautiful. I am complete. Oh, I am wise. Watch this. What you're doing, you're talking to yourself. God is speaking to God. And it is a reminder and an activation at the same time. I know who I be. I am strong. Good to see you, Sister Summers. God bless you. Praying for you. But when you know I'm strong, then it don't matter what I'm going through. Because guess what? I can't. Be weak because I am strong. That's who I am. And so I'll go through things with strength. I'll go through things as a strong woman, as a strong man. Do it mean that I don't have fiery furnace? No, I will have fiery furnace, but I'll be strong because I am strong even in the midst of fire, even in a lion's den, even when it looked like things are falling apart. I will be strong because I am strong because the I am is tied to the I be. And because that's who I am, that's who I 
be. You notice in the Bible that everything, come here, Brother Brian, you're talking to me now. Be still and know that I am God. It is a be. Be born again. Uh, let like be, not do. I don't have to do. The doing comes out of the being. The being doesn't come out of the doing. If this who I be, even when I'm not doing it, I still be it. Uh-oh, because it's, it's who I be. Oh, you may stop me from doing, but you can't stop me from being. I am strong. It's tied to the I be. And so when I know that, I'm never, watch this, I'm never uh, 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 knocked off my horse. I'm never uh, 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 bamboozled uh, because I know who I be. I know who I be. Yeah, this is just another storm for me to be strong. This is another, This is just another opportunity for me to be who I be. This is just another opportunity for the I am to stand up. Woo, God. And so when it rains, I say, I am, are you ready to be? When, when it pours in my life, I say, I am, are you ready to be? Why? Because I am strong. It's part of the I am. And I make this confession every morning. So no matter what the devil tries to plan for me, and no matter what he's trying to do, I know who I am. I am strong. I am powerful. I am wise. And guess what? I it, Listen. I never lack because I can't lack in who I be. Uh oh, my be is complete. We'll get to that. I am complete. This is one of the confessions. And when you know that, you walk into your job for saying, I am strong. You deal with your marriage from a place of strength because it's who you are. And so all you got to do is stay true to who you are. And you can't be nothing else but who you are. This is who I be. How did you handle? And people will want to hear your testimony. Because they'll say, how, how, how did you do it? How, how are you handling it? How you be, how you be so patient? Because it's who I be. <laughs> this is who I am. It's, it is, it is self-sufficient. It is all-knowing. It is all-wise. I am strong. I am strong. I declare it now. I declare it now. So send me where you may, Lord. Do what you want to do. Why? Because I know who I am. I know who I be. If any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, it is the being, B-E-I-N-G. It is who I be that continues. The being, the being, being. If any man be in Christ, be sanctified, be holy, be set apart, be let light be. I am strong. I am powerful. It's the activation of my original strength that can never be stolen by a circumstance, can never be stolen by a situation. Why? Because I am in Christ. And if you can't steal me and rob me from being me, then I will always be. The problem was I did not know. I was not made aware of who I was. The greatest struggle is your identity. Once you know who you are, the I am of who you are, who should I say sent me? I am that I am. God is in you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. <laughs> you shall be like a tree. Be like a tree. It is the being. So the day's confession is I am strong. Okay. Then that's it for today. Finally, my brother, be strong. Don't do it. You don't have to do it. Just be true to yourself. Just allow God to be released in you. To be released in you. Let light be and light was. It is in the being. You're no longer living for people. You're no longer under people's. The greatest deliverance is when you deliver from people's opinion. You're now being authentic to who you are. You're not trying to be strong. You're being real to yourself. You're not trying to be an overcomer. That's who you are. You're not trying to be wise. That's who you are. You're not trying to keep it together. It, it, it already is together because of who you are in God. You are complete in him. It is who I am. So make a demand. Why sit back and let something intimidate you when you know who you are? When you say I'm strong, you're no longer intimidated. No one can control you. I don't need to bow down to nonsense. Because I know who I am. I know who I be. A sustaining verb. There's a place in God, in me, that is complete within itself. And it remains. See, this confession 
it blocks everything from coming in. It tries to like word curses. Sometimes we, we are under word curses and people say things about us and we let it attach to our identity. But I know, see? So how many times have you heard you're weak? Um, you're never weak when you know who you are from the I am because God's not weak and you and God are one. Is this is one spirit. He's in you. You are in Christ. You are a whole new creation. And so you got to declare it. Quit living from the past. Quit allowing your past memory of, of when you didn't know who you were to identify you. Identify yourself from what God has identified you. I am strong. He wouldn't ask me to be something that I couldn't be. You notice he didn't say do it. Finally, my brother, be strong. He's referring to the, to the being of who you are. Continue in the strength. Continue in my joy. Continue in your I am. It's the freedom to walk in the spirit of God. It's the freedom. You have been given legal authority to be like your daddy. He came into his own, his own received them not, but as many as received them, to them gave you the power to become the sons of God. You're absolutely right, Brother Michael. It comes against everything that tries to undercut your qualification. Because you understand who I am. And do you do you do you do you have it? Now walk, walk in it. It don't matter if it's a fire, it don't matter if it's a bridge, it don't matter if it's trouble. Walk as the strong person as you are. Be true to yourself. I am strong. Okay, let's walk through these 13 confessions. I want you to see so far how much weight you have lost and how much identity you have embraced. You have been true to yourself. Now we're going to walk. Good to see you, Brother Robert. God bless you, man. Let's go back to Confession 1. We're going to walk all the way, all the way through, through Confession 13. Because I want you to see this, okay? We got 20 more days of fasting and 20 more confessions. And we'll be complete with this particular journey. Watch this. Confession one. And that's that's it, Brother Bobby. Continue in your I am. Continue in who you be. Continue in it. You're right. And, 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 and when you said that, Brother Bobby, I can hear the Lord say, that's for you. Continue. You know who you are. You know what you're called to do. Don't act like you can't do this. Don't act like you can't overcome this. See, sometimes the enemy tries to rob us as if I can't make it without so-and-so. I can't make it because I don't have this. No, I, I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I will fear no evil, but thou art with me. Yes, I can accomplish this because I'm strong. Yes, I can go back to college. Yes, I can I can do this ministry. Yes, I can I can I can purchase this house. Yes, I can raise these children. Whatever the situation may be, because I know who I am, I know who I be. You're not gonna rob me anymore out of another assignment that God has assigned to my life. You're not gonna rob me over another anointing, that another level of advancement on my life, because I am strong. You're not you're not gonna make me quit the journey and abort. I don't have to abort because I'm strong. If God let me get pregnant by it, I can carry it. Did you hear that? Write that down, baby. If 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 God allow me to get pregnant by it, then I can carry it because I'm strong enough to carry it. I'm strong enough to see it through. I'm strong enough to finish it. Okay? See, you have to understand that. When you say I am strong, you are declaring against anything that tried to make you feel like you couldn't do this. You can't do this by yourself. You can't do this on your own. You, you don't have enough strength. You don't have enough money. I am strong. Do you know who I am? Sometimes you got to talk to yourself and talk to the devil and say, do you know who I am? I know who I am. There it is, Brother Michael. Yes, I can. And you know, I love that. Yeah. Nutty Professor, you got to know it. I'm strong. I'm strong enough to lose every weight that's been holding me down. I'm strong enough to stand against every odds. I'm strong enough to speak. I'm strong. I can talk. I can communicate. I can connect. I am strong. I didn't say I'll show you strength. I said you're looking at strength. You're looking at strong. I become the word. Remember, we embody the word. We, we personify the word. Jesus says, I am life. I am the resurrection. It is not a bit. It is the I am. When you understand who you are, I'm not looking for love. I am love. I am strong. I'm not looking for strength. I'm it. I see myself. I pronounce myself. 
I declare who I am. So what do you need me to do, Lord? Because I know who I am. I'm strong. I can cross this river. I can overcome. I can spread my wings and fly. I can come out of the cave. I will go home. I don't have to settle for a pig pen. I'm strong. I know who I am. I know who I be. Okay? I can do this. This ministry is called. And I will. And I will arise. And I will go home. And I will accomplish. And I will complete. Because I know who I am. I know who I be. I am that I am is in me. And that's who I am. Woo! See that? So we understand that, okay? God will never give you nothing. He'll never allow you to get pregnant by something you can't carry. Oh, I'm strong enough to carry this level of anointing. I'm strong enough to handle this level of blessings because I'm strong. You can't lure me in like you used to, devil. Every temptation don't work. I'm strong. I can say no. I don't have to compromise. I don't have to... Uh, 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 I don't have to feel, I don't have to make you feel superior by me uh, feeling inferior. I don't have to be dumb to be your friend. I'm strong. I don't have to settle for your nonsense and for your mess because I'm strong. I don't have, I don't, I don't have to take anything because I'm hoping that I at least have something by my side. I'm strong. If I have to go by myself, I'll do that because I'm strong. I'm equipped with everything that I need. Come on. Come on, Frankie. I can activate what's in me and be who I am. That's it. Activate who's in you. You have measures and measures and measures and measures and measures of faith. Rooms and rooms and places. But you got to know who you are and tap into the, the strip of who you are and bring it out and come out and say, I am. Are you here? Yes, I am. Are you strong? Yes, I am. Are you wise? Yes, I am. Are you beautiful? Yes, I am. Are you wonderful? Yes, I am. Are you overcoming? Yes, I am. Are you rich? Yes, I am. Are you healed? Yes, I am. Are you delivered? Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. Where are you? Yes, I am. I be who I am because who I am is who I be. Woo! When you know that, you walk in that strength. Okay, let's walk through these confessions. I'm getting excited. Watch this. Watch this. Confession one. We went through 13 confessions so far, right? Here we go. Confession one. When God speaks, I will listen and obey. Let your spirit hear that. When God speaks, and God is always speaking, so I'm always listening and I'm always obeying. Because when God speaks, I will listen and obey. That's confession number one, okay? Confession number two. I will never close my mind to God because my mind is not a box for him. Never close my mind to God. God can speak through a through a through a door, through a dog, through a mirror, through a car, and I'll never close my mind to God. Whatever God says to me, I don't care how, how much no one has never heard it, I'm not going to close my mind to it. Uh, he can speak beyond my, my culture. He can speak beyond my church. He can speak beyond my experiences because I'll never close my mind to God because my mind is not a box for him. Oh, my God. So I'll never close my mind to God. Never, never say that's not God. I don't know. God, show me what it is. Can these bones live? God, you know, because I want to keep my mind open. You may want to do a miracle. I don't know what you're doing, so I never close my mind to God. I'll never say, well, God, we can't do that. No, I never close my mind to God. He may want to take two fish and five loaves of bread and feed 5,000. I'll never close my mind to God. He may want to wait until I get in the fiery furnace and then deliver me from the furnace that I'm in. I'll never close my mind to God. It's not a box for him. I don't try to box him in. I don't try to doctrinize him in. I don't try to church him in. No, I keep my mind open. Oh, however he want to speak, when he want to speak. If he want to use the chicken, I'm listening. If he want to use the rooster, I'm listening. If he want to use the donkey, I'm listening because I'll never close my mind to God. It's not a box for him to live in. Ooh. You got to be open-minded if you want to deal with God. You want to know who you are? You got to be open to yourself. You can limit yourself by using yourself as a measuring stick. Oh, God. <laughs> I have not seen it. Ears have not heard what God has prepared for them that love him. You never close my mind to God, for it is not a box for him to live in. And that's my confession. Confession number three. I am willing to change when change is growth. 
I'm trying to grow. I don't want to be no artificial plant. I don't want to be on nobody's table looking beautiful and never be fruitful within myself. I'm willing to change when change is growth and I want to grow. I don't want to be the same person I was last year. If you're the same person you was yesterday, you have backslid. Every day I want to grow. I want to be watered by God and I'm willing to change. I'm willing to change the way I saw things so the way I see things can change. Uh-oh, if you change the way you see things, the way you see things will change. You got to be willing to change. I'm willing to change. What do you need me to change? What do you need me to get rid of, God? What do you need me to make some adjustments? Because I want to grow. I don't want to be big because I'm infected. I want to grow. I don't want to swell. I want to grow. And I, the only way I'm going to grow, I got to be willing to change. Uh-oh, I got to be willing to accept the things that God give me and make my adjustment to the will of the Lord. And I am willing. You may be able, but are you willing? Uh-oh, because there's people who are able, but they're not willing, and then you got people who's willing, but they're not able, but you want to be willing and let God able you to make the change in your life. God, if you want to change me from Saul to Paul, I'm willing to change. You want to change me from Abraham to Abraham, I'm willing to change. You got to be willing to change. Oh, there's some things you'll never see because you're not willing to change, but when you're willing to change, when you make an open confession, God, take me back to the potter's wheel and go ahead and recreate me. And he made it again another. Did he make it? Did he make it again? Or did he make it again another? It's you, but it's not you because you're changed. People say, oh, I thought I knew you, but I don't know you because you're changed. I'm changing. And sometimes you got to tell people, don't touch me because I'm changing. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm coming from a butterfly. I mean, from a caterpillar to a butterfly. You knew me as a caterpillar. You knew me at a certain level. I couldn't fly. I looked ugly. I didn't know what to say. I couldn't talk. But because I was willing to change from a caterpillar, that's all I knew, to a butterfly. The butterfly was always in me, but I got to be willing to change. And when you're willing to change, why? this, you'll see transformation which is called growth. I didn't grow up now, and when I was a child, I figured as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. Oh! And when a caterpillar, when a caterpillar is being changed into a butterfly, if you touch it, it dies. Sometimes you gotta tell people, when you're in your changing season, don't touch me, because I'm changing. Uh oh! No, no, get, keep your words off of me, I'm changing. Wait, 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 before you say something, I'm changing. I know you saw me at baptism and you saw me go down, but whoa, I'm changing. When I come up, I'm coming up with power. I'm going to rise with power. I'm going to come up wiser, smarter. Why? Because I'm willing to change. Woo! That's my confession. Confession number three, I'm wanting to change when change is growth. I ain't changing to make you happy now. I'm changing to grow. I ain't changing so you can feel like you the, you the smartest person. No, I'm changing to grow. I'm wanting to change when change is growth. Not because you need me to change to make you happy. No, I'm changing so I can become who God called me to become. I'm wanting to change when change is growth. That was confession number three. Confession number four, I'm willing to learn all from all. I don't care what I've been through, I'm going to learn the lesson. I don't care what happened to me, I'm going to learn all from all. You ain't got to just talk to me about the good stuff, God. I don't care what it is, I'm willing to learn all from all. Everything I've been through, the good, the bad, the ugly, the up, the down, come on, God, talk to me about it. Let me learn something. What do I need to learn? You know, Lord, I was messed up at seven, my uncle touched me, but that's okay, I want to learn from that. Uh-oh, I'm willing to learn, uh-oh. Uh oh, I'm willing to learn all from all. All oh, while my mother wasn't in my life, I'm gonna learn from it. I'm gonna learn while my daddy wasn't my daddy, I'm gonna learn from it. I'm gonna learn why I went through three, four divorces, I'm gonna learn from it. I'm gonna learn from it. I lost my son when I was when he was seven years old, I'm gonna learn from it. I am willing, I don't have no closets in my life that me and God can't talk about. I'm gonna add the God factor to everything I've been through. And I'm willing, God, you don't have to, you don't have to. Uh, put the private things to the side. You don't have to have a secret room. I'm going, I'm willing to learn. Oh, cause I have learned. Watch this. What I have learned was that all things work together for good. So why not learn all from all? However you want to teach me. You want to teach me how to be patient from the loss. You want to teach me how to, how to trust God when I didn't have a job that I'm willing to learn. If I need to learn it by sitting home and knowing that you going to take care of these bills, then I'm willing to learn. However, whatever the situation is, I am willing to learn all from all. Woo! Oh, 
Because I want to know. I don't have to. I don't have to say, well, don't talk about that, God. No, there's a lesson in it. And the lesson going to save my life. I'm wanting to learn. It, it, it really, confession confession four really ties into confession one. Because when God speaks, I'm going to listen and obey. You're going to learn something. Do you know the wisdom that I have is only because I, I learned from every, every situation? I learned about something when I was suicidal. I learned about the spirit of suicide. I can help you break the spirit of suicide because I've learned when I was still suicidal. I've learned. I can help you overcome dysfunction in your family, the, the mindset of dysfunction. You know why? Because I've learned how to handle. I've learned how to forgive. I learned how to forgive the greatest enemy of my life, to love them and hug them. I learned something. And so when I'm willing to learn all from all, it makes me powerful. Because <laughs> you can't you can't blind me with something. I don't have any secrets. I add the God factor to whatever it is. You don't know how strong you will become when you learn from that thing that made you cry the most. Ooh, that thing that made you cry the most. But if you would learn from it, oh my God, you will start laughing at stuff that make people cry. Because you learn from it. So how, do you, how do you laugh at that? I learned. I learned all from all. I was willing to learn. I was willing to talk. I would say, okay, God, I'm going to take the band-aid off. Let's talk about it. I've never let no one know about this situation. Matter of fact, I tried to bury it so deep. But God, I but I, I buried it before I learned from it. No, let me learn from it. Let me learn. Because if I learn from it, I'll be able to recognize when it comes back again. See? So that's confession number four. I learned all from all. Confession number five. Watch this. <laughs> great grace is the Patricia I learned from it yesterday that's right confession number five when I think of God I see creation and when I see creation I see me I know who I am now because I saw creation I saw the stars the moons I looked at the trees I said wow look at God God made that tree only God can make that bird and then I realized wait a minute if I when I think of God I see creation but if I see creation, I was created in his image and his likeness. So I got to see me. You mean to tell me the one who made the moons and the star, that's who made me? The one who made the everywhere you go, there's nowhere you can go in the world and be outside and not see the sky. It's everywhere. And the one who made that created me. And now what's so phenomenal is that when he made the sun and the moon and the stars, he never said and he blessed them. When he made creation, he never said he blessed it. But when he made me, he made me. He said, let us. I'm so valuable and so precious that God didn't want to use no material but his own material. Ooh, let us make man in our image, in, in our likeness. So God created man in his own image. I'm spiritual. When he used the dust of the ground, that was for my body. That was not for who I am. I'm spiritual. I'm made in his likeness. And so when I think of God, I think of creation. But when I think of creation, I got to include I'm the highest thing he's ever created. I'm so high that they had a they had a they called a board meeting and said, What is it about man that you're so mindful of him? That you visit him. The angels is trying to figure out. Lucifer thought about something in heaven and you kicked him out. These human beings that you created, they sin every day and you give them grace. Why is it that you keep giving them grace? Why are you leaving heaven and putting yourself in harm's way, wrapping yourself up in flesh, and you let them put you on the cross to redeem these because they are my creation? I'll go down and I'll die for them. I'll put myself on the cross. I'll be God and God and, and, and the Son of God at the same time so that they can know who they are. I got to redeem them because they are my creation. When I think of God, I think of creation. And when I think of creation, I think of me. If I say Christmas, you may think of snow. If I say Easter, you may think of eggs and bunny rabbits. When I say God, you should think of yourself. You're made in the image and the likeness of God. Many times, the carnality of our mind wants to rob us of our real identity. They knew when, when God said, this is my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. They said, wow, God is declaring that that is divinity that's just been baptized in water. You better believe 
that the greatest confession you ever can make is when you really are honest and true and not afraid to claim your deity. Do not be afraid to, to, to know that who your daddy is. I think of me, I'm made in his image and I look like him, walk like him, talk like him and everything that's in God is in me. He empowered me to be able to do not even what he did, but greater work shall I do. Woo! See? And, and sometimes we think so low of ourselves, we don't even think of who we really are. That's the, that's, that's the, that's the gravity pull of sin. Sin is like gravity. It wants to convince you that you're not designed to fly. But when you know who you are, you rise up above it and you suspend the law. And now you operate under the spiritual law of God. When I think of creation, when I think of God, I think of creation. When I think of creation, I see me. I see me. I look in the mirror and I see my father. When I look in the mirror, I got to see my father. If you see anything else outside of your father, you're using the wrong lens. You're using the wrong lens. It's the I am of who you are. It's I be who I be. <laughs> That's confession number five. Confession number six. God in me is the I am of who I am. God in me. That's right. And you're right, Brother Michael, because sometimes our flesh wants to, you know, try to rob us of that. We're not boasting. I'm saying what God says about me. That's who God says. This is my beloved son. God declares that. See, exactly. I have a right to declare over myself what God has said about me. Okay, and I really am boasting. I really am. I'm boasting in him. When, whenever you say that I am, you're boasting in him. That's right, Brother Brian, Romans 8, 19. It, the, the creation moans and groans and wait for the manifestation of the sons of God. God in me is, is the I am of who I am. God in me is the I am. I am the vine, you are the branches. Without me, you can do nothing. See? One who joins himself unto the Lord is one spirit. Lord, I pray, make them one as we are one. <laughs> Absolutely, Brother Barry. Well, pleased and very good are the same confessions over us. Exactly. God in me, confession. God in me. I can't wait for you to hear the CD. It's going to bless you. I can hear. The God in me is who I am. God in me. Woo. Can't wait for you to hear the song. They're going to bless you. God in me is the I am of who I am. God in me. The God in me. God. God in me. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The God in me. The God in me. The I am of who I am. <laughs> who sent me. God in me. By faith. Remember these confessions are by faith. We're declaring them by faith. We're declaring them by faith. We're declaring them by faith. When God come, you shall be as he is, as he is. Woo, okay? The God in me. That's when we wake it up. We're waking up the God in me. I'm not identifying myself by my color. I'm not identifying myself by my, by my financial status. I'm not identifying myself by being in the backseat of a car. And that's how my mother got pregnant. I'm identifying myself by who God says I am. I sit in heavenly places. I was chosen before the foundation of the world. I was made holy. We got 12 minutes. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. I want to show you something. I want to show you who you are. Go to uh, Ephesians chapter 1. I want to show you something real quick. I want to show you something. Because I don't want you to wrestle no more with your identity. You declare by faith who, who is in you. Greater is he that is in you. You are born again. You, are born, you must be born from above born from above. He said, how can, we, how can I enter to my mother's womb a second time? Now watch what he says. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. He says, well, well what's the method? How do I become saved? This, this is the real method of salvation. There is no method for salvation. Salvation is really the download and the timing for you to be aware of where God has already called you from. That's really what salvation is. Only reason we can call heaven our home because we lived in heaven before we was deposited in earth. Watch this. So he said, as the wind blows, 
and, and, and no one knows where it come from and where it goes. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. That's John. Now I'm quoting out of John. I'm going to go to Ephesians. Matter of fact, let's go to John first. Let's go to John first because I want to show you who you really are. I want to show you this. You must be born from above. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. Let's go to John 3. Watch this. We're going to go to verse 6. Watch this. That which is that which is born of flesh is flesh, and that which is born of spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again. But born again means born from above. Okay? Watch this. The wind blows where it listens, and thou hears the sound thereof. But cannot tell whence it comes. You don't know where, where this wind come from and whether it goes. You don't know where it went when it left. So is everyone that is born of the spirit. So to be born of the spirit, it can't be traced. Because it's just like the wind. Because you're born from above. See? You must be born again. In other words, if you want to know really who I am, you want to know eternal life, you have to already have come from me to know this. No man can us sin the first he's already did sin. Now watch this. I'm showing you something. Watch this. Oh, that's it, Brother Brian. Our kingdom is not his work. Now I want to tie that into that's John 3. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 1. We're going to walk through the word because I want you to never be, never ever be um, haunted or tortured with your identity ever again. Ephesians chapter 1. Watch this. And then we're going to come back to these confessions. Chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, to the saints which are in Ephesus, to the faithful in Christ Jesus. He's speaking to the faithful in Christ Jesus. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Are you with me? Now we're at verse 3. Watch this. Blessed be, blessed be, be blessed, the word of God. Blessing is the word of God over my life. I am blessed. It's the I am. Why? Because I am the word over my life. The word become flesh and walked among us. It is the word that keep me alive. In him we live and move and have our being. Who is God? God is a word. In the beginning was the word, was with God, and the word was God. Watch this. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. Now watch this. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings. Where? In heavenly place. Everything I need, I'm already equipped because he already blessed me with every spiritual gift. I was born with it in the creation of time from a heavenly place. From the time that I was made aware of who I was. Because I was, I was before I was. Why? Because before I was in my mother's womb, he chosen me. He shaped me before I was in time. So I'm spiritual. Watch this. Woo! Oh, watch this. So I, I have all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. But where are these places? These places are in Christ. Remember, there are places within places, within places, within places. And so watch this. Who has blessed us with all. I don't like not one spiritual blessing in heavenly place that is in Christ. According as he has did what? Chosen us. When did you choose us, God? In him. I was chosen in him. I was chosen in him. I was in him when, I, when he chose me. Chosen in him. When? Before the foundations of the world. You thought it was in, oh, I got saved on June 2nd, 1975. No, you were chosen before there was a moon, before there was a star, before there was a sky, before there was a monkey, before there was a tree, before there was an apple, before your mama, before your daddy. You were chosen before the foundations of the world in him. Oh, God, that should make you shout right there. Uh, according as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. He said, I chose you to be separate. Watch this. Without blame. Watch this. Before him in love. Having predestinated. You better know I've been predestined. Destined means in. Pre means before. Which means my end was set up before the end came. The end had already come. Because he declared the beginning from the end. So I'm already finished. I'm already complete. I'm already healed. I'm already chosen. I'm already great. Why? Because I was chosen before the foundations of the world. Be. Come on. Hope. Come on, Brother Michael. Help me teach this. Watch this. 
And according as he has chosen us in him before the front of the world, that we should be, be, that's it, be holy, be holy, be holy, be holy, not do it, be it. That's who I be. Holy is who I be. Perfect is what I be. Be perfect. Uh oh, be mature, because mature is who I be. It's who I am. Be sanctified, because sanctification is who I be, because that's who I am. Why? Because I was made in the image and the likeness of God. Woo! Watch this. Without blame before him in love, having predestinated us unto the adoption of the children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he has made us accepted. I am accepted. That's one of the I am's. I am, I am the beloved of God. That's one of the I am's. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace, where he is abound towards us in all wisdom and purpose. Watch this. Having made known to us the mystery of his will, the revelation, I am a walking revelation of God. I am a walking revelation of God. When you see my life, you see what God looks like in the flesh. I am the walking revelation of God. Has he made known to us the mission's will according to his good pleasure, who he has purposed in himself. Uh oh See, I want you to know that, okay? So go back to confession. Come on. We got four minutes. God in me is the I am of who I am. That's who I am. And I'll never let anyone rob me of it. Why? Because that's who I am. Why can I? Why would I lie to who I am? If I don't be true to me, I can't be true to no one else. That's who I am. That's who he says I am. I have all spiritual blessings. I've been chosen. I've been predestined. <laughs> Fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, come on, brother Frankie. Come on. Come on. Watch this. Confession number seven. Yes, I am. I think positive thoughts about myself because there's nothing negative about the I am that is in me. So I wake up every morning and I confess out of my mouth, my body hear it, my mind hear it, my spirit hear it. Yes, I am. Yes to the I am. Yes to the I am that is strong. Yes to the I am that is, that, that is wise. Yes to the I am that is rich. Yes to the I am that is holy. Yes to the I am that is powerful. Yes to the I am that is a conqueror. Yes to the I am that is an overcomer. Yes to the I am. Yes, I am. And I'm I tie nothing to, nothing to the I am that is negative because there is no negative in the I am. So I am healed. I am whole. I am complete. Because that is God, I am that I am, and I am is in me, so I be like the I am. I be, that's who I am. <laughs> yes, I am, and I never think anything negative. I don't care what they said about me and what the people may think they know. I know who I am, and there's nothing negative about me. Oh, God, there's nothing negative about you. Throw it away. Throw it away. When they told you, you you was terrible, throw it away. Throw it away. Lose that weight. Lose that weight when your dad said you're nothing. You'll never be nothing. Nope, that's not who I am. I know who I am. There's nothing negative to me, dad. Get rid of those words that your father said to you. Reverse the curse by saying, I am blessed. When you say, I am blessed, you're reversing the curse of every word curse that was over your life. Confession number eight. Yes, I am love. That's who you are. You're not looking for love. You are love. You are a walking love billboard. Every time we see you, we see love. You don't have to look for love. You don't have to hope somebody love you. You become what you need. And without what you need, you was always. You become what you thought you needed. And what you needed was always with you because you was always love. I don't care if they didn't know. They didn't know how to love you, but you was always love. They didn't know how to hold you, but you was always loved. They didn't know how to appreciate you, but you was always loved. Why? Because you, ever since you've been born again, the love is the I am that is in you. The love is, is the I am. God is love and God is in you. So yes, I am love. I am loved by the I am. And that's who I am. Love yourself because you're loving God. When you're loving God, you're loving yourself. Because you're one with the Father. You are the Father's Son. 
How can God be love and you don't have love in you? You're full of it. How can you be full of the Holy Spirit? And the fruit of the evidence of the Holy Spirit is love. And so say it to yourself, I am love. I am love. You're no longer, you're no longer compromised to broken pieces when you say I am love. Your standard, love, love always declare the standard of love. Love always sees the value in a thing. And so when you say, I am love, you say, I am valuable. It's the most valuable currency in the world. You are the greatest currency in the world. You are a literally live wire of love. I am love. Faith works by love. Thank you, Brother Brian. That's it. I am love, confession number eight. Watch, watch everything in your body. You're going to feel like, that's why my next book is called 31 Plates. You're going to feel like making these confessions like you just ate the best meal in the world. You know how you eat something healthy and you go, wow, man, this is good. My body agrees with it. You ever drink a good, good thing, a cranberry juice or something like that? You go, wow, my body needs this. When you start saying, I am love, I don't have to look for it. I am it. God is love and God is in me. I am loved. You got to hear it. You done heard everything else. You done heard you're terrible. You're broke. You done heard everything else. Hear the truth. Your love. That's confession number eight. If you're just coming on, hit that share button. Share this on your page. Confession number nine. Yes, I am peaceful. You got to know I am peaceful. I don't have to fight you. I'm peace. The fruit of the spirit. I'm tied to the Holy Ghost. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. I am peaceful. I don't fight my battles. God fight my battles. I'm peaceful. I know how to be still and wait on God. There's an aura about me that I stay, I know how to rest in God. I'm peaceful. I go to sleep. I don't care if the boat is full of water. I say, God, move over. I don't panic because I'm peaceful. I don't react because I'm peaceful. That's who I am, the God in me, the I am that I am. Gives me the character of the I am. And so I take on the character of God. I take on the fruit of the spirit, which is peace. I am full, peaceful. I am full of the peace of God. That passes all understanding. I can be calm in a violent situation because that's who I am. I'm being true to the essence of who I am. I am peaceful. Woo! Peace I leave with you. This peace I give unto you, not as the world give. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You're full of peace. Peace be still. I know who I am. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay. Confession number 10. Yes, I am here. It is a, it is a declaration of who I am. I am complete. Before I gave my life to God, before I rededicated my life to God, I was all over the place. I was in the soul ties. One of me, uh, a part of me was in New York. Another part of me was in Chicago. Another part in L.A. But when God completed me, taught me how to call my soul back, my soul has been renewed. I was like, David, I messed up. But I said, God, restore me to, to me the joy of my salvation. Restore my soul, restore my soul. And now that God has restored my soul, my mind is back. I'm sitting and clothed in my right mind. I can declare that all of me, my passion, my desires, my dreams, everything has returned. Because yes, I am here. I'm fully equipped. I'm not a part of me. I'm not two thirds of me. I am here. Here, I am here. All of me is here. I got my joy back, my laughter back. I know how to laugh. I got my strength back. I got my fortitude back. I got my hunger back. I am here. Uh oh, I know it. I'm complete. I'm here. I am. And not only I'm here, but God is here because God is the I am. So God is saying, don't worry. You complete. Why? Because I am here. If you make your bed in hell, don't worry because I am here. And when you know I am here because the I am is here that I am never in part, I'm no longer a shattered vessel, I'm no longer emotionally unstable, why? Because I have made a confession about the I am, and if God is here, then I am here, because me and God is one woo I am here <laughs> oh, you, you thought you had me, you thought you 
Jesus broke me. You thought you thought I was in shatter. You thought I'll never carry. You thought I was like a glass that had been broken. I'll never hold that level of anointing again. I'll never be that happy again. You thought I would never be able to accomplish some things. But guess what? I'm here. I'm like I'm like Whoopi Goldberg on the movie. Everything you did to me, I did it to you. And guess what? I may be ugly, but I am here. And guess what? I ain't even ugly. I ain't even claiming I am that. I am here. Oh, that's what she said. I'm here, baby. You better say that to all your enemies, to everybody who think they try to hold you down. I'm here. You thought I wasn't going to make it. You thought I wasn't going to overcome. You thought I wasn't coming out. You thought I would never do it. You thought I couldn't raise the kids, but I'm here. You thought when you took the car and took the house and took the clothes, you thought it was going to break me, but I am here because the I am is here. God is my shepherd and I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He restored my soul and I can make a declaration loud and clear. I am here after the divorce, after losing, after getting fired, after the storm. I'm still here and complete. Woo! Oh, I am here. Oh, confession 10. Confession number 11. And because I'm here, I am blessed. I'm blessed. There's a word over my life. <laughs> and he blessed them. There's a word over my life. Oh, that's right. That's right, Sister Tanya. We ain't ugly because the glory of the Lord is in my life. I'm beautiful. I'm wonderful. I know who I am. Oh, I'm blessed. You can't stop me because I'm blessed. You can't curse what God is blessing. You can't bless what God is cursed. And because I'm blessed, you can't curse me. Can't nothing hurt me because I'm blessed. Can't nothing stop me because I'm blessed. When I know who I am, I am blessed. What is blessed? It is God's word over my life. And he blessed him. I'm so blessed I got dominion over the fish in the sea, the fowls in the air. I'm so blessed I can multiply. I'm so blessed. Watch this. I multiply. I replenish. I subdue. I'm so blessed. Whatever I say shall prosper. I'm blessed. I'm a tree. Oh, I bear fruit. Watch this. Because I'm blessed. And whatsoever. My leaf can't wither because I'm blessed. Ooh. Oh, the storms came to eat my flesh. But I'm blessed. I'm blessed. <laughs> I am blessed. Confession number 12. And because I'm blessed, I am powerful. I'm an impact. I'm an influence. Everywhere I go, I shake things up because I am powerful. Woo! Where I handle trouble and powerful. <laughs> and then the last confession is confession for the day. That's all 13 confessions. Did you hear your, your baby should have been kicking? You should be pregnant about six times. Watch this. Because these are these these are our confessions. These is these are these are our confessions. There's 33 of them. We only had 13. Oh my God, you'll never be the same. Here, so the last confession for today, confession 13. I am strong. How can I not be strong after all those previous 12? How can you not be strong? So, Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for what you're doing. Bless you, Lord, that you have shown us who we are by the I am of who you are in us. And so we thank you. We love you. Allow these things to walk in us and to become us. Let us become the word as you became the word and walked among them. And they beheld the glory as the only begotten of the Father. So we thank you, Lord, for a wonderful teaching today. Wonderful encouraging of who you are. We give you praise because you are the I am. We're lifting you up. And when we lift you up, you will draw all men unto you. Bless your people everywhere. Thank you for this very day. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us for our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For God is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. All things are done by your name and by your nature. Amen. God bless you. Read those every day. If you haven't gotten your book yet, please go to Amazon, order your book. Please go to Amazon, order your book. I got two books out. One called The Journey of False Perception. Another one is called 33 Confessions. People have been asking about the giving. So we did post last teaching about that. We do have a cash out, a cash out app account. 
and we do have PayPal if you want to do that. And you know, I don't push that. I want God to touch you. If God touch you and tell you to give, you give. I don't push that. I think giving should flow. We should freely give, freely, not be in, not be driven. We should be driven by God to give. Giving is a heart issue. But I did make that available for you because I don't I don't post it. So if you ask me, I'll let you know where you can give. But that is. But the books are available. Amazon. Uh, and so you can get both books. Get the books. It will change your life. Change your life. And don't buy one. Buy two or three of them. Bless somebody. Be a giver. Okay? That's very important. These will, these will literally cause you to lose weight in the mind. We are uh, day 13. 13 confessions. We got 20 more confessions. 20 more day of fasting. Be laid on your fast. Let God give you the time. Let God talk to you and have a journey of the things that God show you on the fast. Remember now, we are we are under God's favor. I would say that to you, that God is pouring out financial blessings so that the people can do kingdom work. The, the money that's coming to us is kingdom agenda. That's how I met my wife, based upon kingdom agenda. And so God is financially the kingdom so that we can really do the work of God. Okay, and so I want you to understand that. So get that book. God bless you. 33 Confessions. And so walk in God's favor. We love you. See you tomorrow. Same place, same time. Okay, if you didn't share it yet, share it on your page. If you share it, share it again. And, and tell people about this ministry every morning at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time. We're on. Okay, love you. God bless you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. We are here with you. We are a family. This is a family ministry. It's about family. Okay, and so we love you. God bless you. Walk in God's favor.